The Queen's Public Library in Flushing is the busiest branch library in the United States, and now it just might be the most welcoming thanks to a new program. CBS 2's El McLogan covers Queen's and takes us there. At the Queen's Public Library, all our welcome is more than just talk. When we say that we speak your language, we really are speaking the language of, of the people of Queens. People in the world's borough can now swiftly hurdle a language barrier at the library with a live translation service. Nick Buron is chief librarian. We plug in a couple of numbers, and right away we have a translator that is able to, you know, be that uh, that interpreter between the customer and ourselves. You say we spend no libro. Are you looking for books in English or Spanish? While the library's diverse staff is already multilingual, the phone service makes communication even smoother, offering over 240 languages from Swahili to Mongolian. The project facilitates much more than finding a book. For many new arrivals to the United States, the library is among the first stops, a hub with resources for navigating the complex systems of housing, health care, and more. It could be classes, it could be you know applying for jobs, it could be finding where their nearest school is for their kids. Get a library card, you need picture ID with current address. Diversity is the pride of Queens, where almost half of the 2.4 million residents were born outside the United States. But 28% of them do not have English proficiency. And so right away, someone who might be at a disadvantage outside of our doors is not at a disadvantage when they come in. No matter where guests come from, helping them feel a little more at home. In Flushing, Elle McLogan, CBS 2 News. CBS 2's Elle McLogan, our community journalist covering Queens. So if you have a story for her, you can send an email at queenstip at cbs.com.